the, these are never easy. They're never, they're never anything that, that you can walk away from and, and feel just great about. Um, but in the same, in the same vein, we, we're extremely proud of the season that we've had. Um, changing the direction of the program, first time since 2010 that, that we've been able to get this team a winning season and back to the NCAAs. Um, that was extremely important to these three. Um, that was the, the goal that they had. Um, and and they, they led their team to, to, to get it done. So I'm extremely proud of that and um, enjoy the journey every minute of it. Coach, when you took over, do you think that this is where you would be at the end of the season? Uh, that was always the goal. Um, <laughs> when, we, when we looked at the roster, we knew the roster had a lot of talent on it. Um, the question was, could, could we get them to believe in the vision, get them to believe in each other, um, get them to commit to, to being great teammates? Um, because we believe that it starts with chemistry. Um, and then, then we work out from there, and I, I thought they did a great job at it. There seemed to be a couple of missed opportunities, especially in the second half. Are you all four of you guys are kind of having those run through your mind right now? Yeah, I mean, you always go what if, and, and I wish I had, and all those, all those things. But at the end of the day, this is the way the game is played. I mean, it, you go out, you compete. Two great teams competed today. Pepperdine was fantastic. Um, they're, they're extremely dangerous. And, they, and they, they came with a great game plan. Um, we, we had our moments. They had theirs, and at the end of the day, it took PK. So, what did you see from the team in their hard-fought effort? Growth, growth um, from last spring to, to today. Completely different squad, completely different energy, com completely different uh, belief system in, in themselves um, and their ability to get it done. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, you know, as a coach, that's what you're looking for. So I know this season just ended, but what are you thinking about for next? What do you need to do? Uh, you know what? Continue to build, continue to grow. We, we ask them to get better every day. We ask them to, to just grind every day. Um, and now that they've been with us for a year, there's some, there, there's some understanding of expectation. Um, and we're just going to continue to clean up details, con continue to clean up technically. We return a large group of women, and so um, we expect big things. Well, in regards to the game, we fought hard. Um, that's a long game when you go into double overtime and PKs. But... Um, the game is cruel. PKs are cruel. It's really just, it doesn't judge the talent of the squad. And um, I think we have an extremely talented squad, and I'm not worried about them at all next year. In fact, I think that they're only going to go up and rebuild this program into a dynasty. Um, this program has already been turned around into such a positive direction. Um, you just see where we finished in the Pac-12 the past couple years into where we finished this year. That was one of our goals. Um, if you look back on paper and see what our goals were, we accomplished so much, and I hope that that isn't lost in the scheme of you know, how the season ended. Um, you look at our defense, and we have all sophomores. Uh, one kid, it was her first year. Another kid, it was her third year on the team, but her first year starting. You have so much talent and so much just like fresh, fresh minds and fresh legs, and they're just, their passion is all there and it's burning and they're willing to work and they're willing to sacrifice and if they keep going in the direction that they're going they're going to be winners and they're going to continue to win and um, this is a program that we're proud of like like they said as alumni we're going to come back and know that we got to be a part of such an amazing squad a squad that truly wanted to turn the program around and um, as for the coaching staff the same thing um, it's always a little bit nerve-wracking and scary getting a completely new coaching staff personally a couple actually all three of us have been through three coaching staffs um, through transfers and different um, situations. So you couldn't have asked for a better coaching staff. The dynamic, the friendship, and they just bring all aspects of the game. They can connect with every player no matter how they learn. And you ha when you have that, you know you can't really see anything as a negative. I just have faith in them, really. I think, um, as Caroline said, it like we came in 11th place last year, and now we were in 4th. Um, there's just so much opportunity for this team to build on and really only us three leaving. It's, I'm really excited. I'm excited to come to the games and I, I, don't, I can only see us going, the team going up from here. So I don't know if you have anything. What did the season kind of mean for you guys too? This season meant a lot. It's our last season as Trojans. Um, so obviously it- On the field. On the, on the field. <laughs> um, meant a lot and I love that we got to go to the NC2As. It was a dream of mine to accomplish and it was a goal in the beginning of the season and we made it there and again nothing but I don't know I know there's gonna be a lot of success for the girls next year. Trudges!